Love Bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Knowing that I can place my videos on here and it might seem crazy the time when I go through it, but it is just such a relief when other people have been having the same reoccurrence as I do. It's kind of interesting in a way, in a weird way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your impact and give how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like um, the video is being very informative to you or it's just giving you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or a friend, or even a fellow empath going through some trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even our soul purpose, please go ahead and share. If you want to add, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, whatever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, I'm my bad on cutting my video off like that. It was like when my daughter calls and stuff like that. When my kids call, you know if you're a parent, you know. Uh, it's like you have to hurry up and see what's going on with them or whatever. But anyway, this video, I'm using the meditation music, which is so relaxing. It's called uh, Music for Meditation Prayer. Let go of mental blockages. I am loving awareness. 528 hertz and 741 hertz. I will post that link in the description box below. And um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when you are ready to move on from a dark, stressful uh, situation, dark, um, dark and stressful situation, pay attention to how you look and respond from your situation. You really, truly do. It's just like when we're placed in things, sometimes we feel like we have overstayed our welcome. You know, a lot of times the universe will send us that message like, uh, we ain't trying to run you. Uh, rush you or whatever, but you know, you still haven't learned the things that we've been placing in your life. You're like, uh, what's going on? You know, so it's just like sometimes we are so ready to like move on to the next situation or to the things that we truly want in life. We truly need to know, you know, what is being, you know, taught to us. What is the things that the universe wants us to know? When you're going through all these different situations, it's like, how are you responding to it? Are you actually looking? You know, at every angle, all levels, different perspectives, in a positive perspective. Are you looking at it from an emotional standpoint? You know, are you in a stressful standpoint? Are you looking at things because you're so ready for it to be over with? You know, there's a lot of times we get placed in situations when we're ready to move on, we're ready to grow. But it's just like with my situation, it has taught me, even though I've been in a toxic relationship for too long, but I can easily, uh, easily say that situation a toxic situation has taught me positive uh standpoints in my life that i'm grateful i've you know i've learned you know there's a lot of times i got stressful and i'm just like oh i'm so ready to get the hell up out of here i don't know what to do you know but it's just like i look at certain situations and really truly see how it is you know it's like this situation has taught me my self-worth you know i was allowing myself you know this from even growing up placing my feelings and my happiness and my my self-respect and worth aside to please other people to make sure that they're happy even though they weren't doing that same thing for me you know um going through that really taught me a lot you know seeing things for what they truly are you know i had to step back because you know it's like when i was telling y'all about the the one about me dealing with so many things it was just like i was still holding that hurt from the same situation because what i went through with my toxic relationship i was dealing with this also with my family uh relationship you know it's always somebody put ahead of me you know it's just like being in a toxic relationship with a narcissistic person that you know wants to allow you to see what they want you to see not even if, you know what that what, what facade or what character they want to play at that time you know and it's just like i was grateful for doing that because it was like before i was just like you know this is a waste waste of time but it was just like you had to go to that that standpoint you know i've, I've talked to friends and you know people and um different social uh forums that said the same thing you know this person walked out of my life and i said a lot of times when somebody walks out of your life 
you know, it's not always a loss. You know, if it was truly, you should never force somebody to stay with you on first of all. You know, if you see a red flag, people are not being honest with you. You know, they're covering up one lie to, uh, on top of another lie, on top of another lie, on top of another lie. You know, it, it's just like, you know, that's not a situation you should be in because that person is not respecting herself as well as you or your relationship as well. So it's just like this situation allowed me to be single. You know, um, even on that situation, they probably thought it was under wraps. So I said, no, it's not because you. It's just the fact is, you know, I respected myself to know if it was meant for me to be I would feel it inside. I would know it, you know. So that gave me my chance to be able to heal in so many different ways. I didn't know I was gonna be able to do. You know, there's times I can honestly say I used to get mad because I'm just like, how are you gonna teach, you know, treat this person like this? You know, I've been in your life for all this long, except this and this and that. But it was just like there. You have to understand that there. This is what they do with every single person. You know, they can be able to show what they want to show to that person, and when they truly able to see that person for what they are then they try to allow that person to you know whoever that person is a thorn in their side they're going to allow that person to be a thorn in everybody else's side because i've had that happen with me on this uh, a couple of occurrences so it's just like, it was really a blessing to be able to go through that because now it's like my situation is telling me don't allow somebody to stop you don't allow somebody's you know negativity stop your flow make you that's all, all that is a distraction a lot of times god places you in this karmic situation because of their karma and yours as well you know um being able to see things from all angles that allowed me to just say you know what don't lose focus on what you need to do you know there was times where i was sitting here and do videos and say okay i'm going to do a nature walk and i'm going to go work out and do this videos and laying down because I allow certain situations to you know basically suck the energy out of me and they always say you know devils you know idle hands is the devil's bike that's true and it was like yesterday because I, I, I was you know I do tarot readings for myself but I did it in a long time and I said you know I don't want to go that route of doing tarot readings anymore because you know I was watching like eat love and pray or something like that eat love and live or whatever with Sal and I truly loved him because he's been on point for a lot of times but it was like every day was coming addictive and it's like only if I do that now it's just to support other people's channel like my my, my soul sister uh Katie dropping gems you know you, I'm gonna go ahead and put her link down here you can go ahead and support her channel she's really good as well but it's just like for me I have to be able to learn the things that I need to learn you know unless it's like you know um out of the blue you know if i'm supporting her channel that's a different story but if it's just for me to just be doing it on my own or cognizance i feel like I, I need to learn what i need to learn unless it's like the universe is sending me towards that person and that's what it did yesterday and it allowed me to say you know my mom and all of them came in because i kept hearing my mother i kept hearing my grandmother maddie uh, my grandfather john as well as my dad and my my best friends coming in you know, and it's just don't allow this situation to get to you. You're better than that. And that was the last thing, you know, she was saying the same thing as, you know, pulled up the bull card and said, you're bullheaded, must be a tourist. And I started busting out laughing. I really had to hear that. And it was just like everything she said was on point. And it was like, I, you know, I told her I really needed to hear that. And, you know, everything, you know, sometimes we feel like situations, things that there's been said towards us that we can truly resonate. It's not no coincidence. It's something that, you know, that was the message from the universe to say, look, allow you to be, be on your stuff. <laughs> Do not allow somebody's ignorance or don't allow somebody's negativity towards you on their insecurities about how they feel about yourself the one saw on your game for you to lose focus on what you truly want because it's just like people like i've told y'all before when people can't control you they will control how people see you and it's just like I, i'm 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 me this all the time it's just like you know you get what you get on what attitude you you project towards me you know, I'm really that cool, laid-back person. If you ask me for advice, I'm there. But I'll tell you the truth. I don't, I don't belittle nobody. I don't disrespect nobody. But if you ask me something, you might not like exactly what I say because I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I never have. You know, um, but I, I, I am a truly good listener. You know, I've been through a lot of things, and it's just a blessing I can be able to help people. But like I said in my last video, I was not even really aware. I was still suppressing that stuff.
you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't know that, but it was just like, why do I keep dropping, you know, crying at the drop of a hat? You know, what is these things? Cause it's like, you know, I used to get upset when, you know, I see a person and they, they're, you know, a dad playing with their daughter, you know, or their child. And I used to get so sad when I see that because I wanted that so badly. You know, I didn't really have that. You know, I had it for a short period, period of time. And next thing you know, that, you know, my mom's ex-husband, his wife, her, his wife and her children became his priority. And I was just, you know, a pawn. I had to go through all those different things. So it was just like, it was really good to be able to open up and tell y'all that and be real with it. You know, that's why I say I love being real on my channel. I'll be able to express things because it's like nobody's perfect. You know, I didn't want nobody to feel like I was bullshitting them or lying about anything, trying to say, I want to be able to, if I see, say something to you, I want to be able to do it for myself as well while I was, um, you know, giving you advice as well as doing it. I mean, I can't sit up here and give my advice and I'll take my own advice. So it was just like I said, I had to really sit back and evaluate my priorities. And it's just like, if you really want things in life, don't allow somebody's, you know, you know, if they feel like their life is, you know, all up in shams or whatever, and they don't want to grow, that's all on them. You know, everybody, I feel like anybody can come out of anything if they really truly wanted to. If they wanted to change, they would. But there's a lot of people that can see that you're going to be happy. And they'll try to sabotage that in a minute. So don't allow people's, you know, insecurities be placed upon your life. Because, I mean, your life is your power. You know, and that's what a lot of the things she was telling me. That, you know, have confidence in yourself. Have that power to know that whatever people are doing it and it's not helping you grow it can't stop you unless you allow that to you know nothing can happen if you don't allow it to happen you can't nothing can get to you unless you allow it to get to you and that's what she was telling me because it was just like you know I usually do things but it was like this situation with me dealing with you know wanting to find answers about my dad I'm ready to get the hell up out of here you know move on um, lose weight from all the weight that I gained from not smoking cigarettes you know all these different things was piling up on me and it really made me depressed so it was just like I, I'm just like you know what you can change all these things now you if you can't it, you know just like that serenity prayer allow you to accept change whatever you can't change you have to be able to make peace with it you know and going about your business but if it's something that you can change about your life you have that power to do that you manifest anything you want in your life. And I said, if I'm going to manifest anything, it's going to be some damn positive stuff. It ain't going to be nothing negative. So allow yourself to really look at your situation for how it truly is. Do not allow people to sabotage you. Don't you allow yourself to sabotage you. You are too close to your blessings. And, you know, your situation is not trying to be that punishment to you. I used to feel like I was being punished. But... I had to really look like you're not being punished. You you can you have the power to be able to love yourself beyond every measure. Know that you know while you're helping others, you're helping yourself as well. You're evolving like crazy. You just have to be able to look at it in a positive perspective. Now, if you look at it in a negative outlook, hell, you ain't gonna get nothing done. <laughs> so you have to really look at your situation. You know, like with mine, I pray that you know my ex is able to heal from all the things that he's went through, you know, because it's sad when you look at people as objects, when you don't respect yourself, when you don't respect others, you know, that's a sad situation, but it's just, like I said, I, I pray happiness for him. At times, I used to wish death on his ass. I didn't care, but it's just like, if I need to live beyond love, you know, when I can sit up here and see somebody did it and do it, and their, their life was on, you know, with Damo. Damo is like a public figure on YouTube. You know, girl got a glow up. I was proud of her because, I mean, she really came a long way. I mean, she was already doing it good. But when she went through that breakup and there was so much stuff, I felt bad for both sides because you don't know what all went uh, occurred. And especially when it's a public split, it's never, you know, it's never pretty. And especially when you allow outside influences, you know, you going back and forth on social media and stuff like that it's never really good but she actually did you know a big glow up and even though that girl don't put it through hell you know from what it was said you know she could have said a lot of things and she didn't you know she don't even barely talk about that situation just like I try not to do mine the same way because you don't want to manifest that you know you want to be regardless of how people treat you or how your breakup is and stuff like that it can be really bad you have to pray for the best for them even when they pray for the worst for you 
because that told you a lot about yours. Whatever you push out is what you'll get back as well as that. But, you know, everything needs a balance to it. So really look at your situation from all angles. See what the universe is trying to teach you through that dark, dark, stressful situation, you know, because it's going to be probably something that you really, truly needed to heal from. With me, it was faith, patience, strength, power, confidence, worth, love for self, <laughs> respect for self, you know, common sense, <laughs> you know, all those different things. But, you know, I'm hoping, you know, this will help you, you know, I'm you know, I feel really good about being open and honest about those situations and being able to heal. I mean, that's that's my main priority. I wish nothing bad on nobody, regardless of what people think about me. You know, it's how I validate myself. That's all that matters. I know I carry my character with love and light, you know, and that's all I tend to do. But if anybody else want to see that, hey, that's all on now. <laughs> so, but I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video. Um, like I said, I'm going to put... Uh, my little soul sister, she's like my little sister, K dropping gems. I'm gonna put her uh, link in the description box if you want to get readings and stuff like that. She does do that. I said I'm gonna start doing videos with people that um that have their own channel that stop by and subscribe to me. Even um Top V uh, trending. I'll put his is as well in that video. Uh, his link. He does a lot of things for like the best foods for diabetes, things that you know that you can eat for. You know constipation or even when you want to lose weight and stuff like that interesting places i mean he does really you know interesting videos and i truly love his uh videos too as well but like i said i hope you know everybody has a blessed safe weekend send out much love and light and positivity you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend be responsible for everything you do send out as much love and like positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way and i will see you on my next video much love peace